So a pretty significant trade actually happened in the NHL this afternoon that saw Daniel Sprong, a prospect of the Pittsburgh Penguins, sent to the Anaheim Ducks in exchange for defenseman Marcus Pedersen. Now I'm going to be breaking down this trade in this video because this one's really interesting to me after I saw Elliot Friedman tweet out that there is a trade working between these two teams involving Daniel Sprong. I definitely thought there would have been a more valuable defenseman sent the other way, a guy like Brandon Montour or Josh Manson and then you know some draft picks thrown in there. But no, it is just a straight up one for one deal, Marcus Pedersen for Daniel Sprong. Now in saying that, I'm not throwing any shade towards Marcus Pedersen, he's a very solid defenseman, but it seems like just one year ago, Daniel Sprong was seen as one of the top prospects in all of hockey. Definitely his value has sort of dropped, but you would still think that they would be able to get more than Marcus Pedersen, but Marcus Pedersen is only a 22 year old defenseman, and this season he has 6 assists in 27 games, and he is a plus 4 for the Anaheim Ducks team that, you know, is kind of struggling here and there. So being a plus 4 as a 22 year old, he's a responsible defenseman, obviously he gets a little bit of protected minutes, but obviously Pittsburgh seen something they like in him, which ultimately led to this trade happening. Daniel Sprong, I definitely think can still be a very solid NHL player. This is a guy who last season in the American American Hockey League was a point per game with 32 goals 65 points so obviously we know this guy is very capable of putting up big offensive numbers and I really thought that on a team like the Pittsburgh Penguins he would be able to do so but things just really didn't work out and Pittsburgh became a little bit impatient with Daniel Sprong as he's yet to even score a goal this season so in this move hopefully Daniel Sprong can really find his game at an NHL level in Anaheim and for the Ducks I really do like this move because you can never have too many young forwards and obviously with the core of this team aging with Kessler, Getzlaff and Corey Perry not getting any younger adding a young forward like Daniel Sprong certainly does help and I don't think they're going to miss Marcus Pedersen too much because they do have a very solid defense score with guys like Lindholm, Manson, Montour, Cam Fowler and those guys so I'm kind of liking this trade for both sides definitely more so for the Anaheim Ducks though because I think Sprong has a lot more upside at an NHL level than Marcus Pedersen does obviously different positions but it's kind of hard to compare but I definitely think Marcus Pedersen will fit into that top six in Pittsburgh nicely Hopefully, his game can complement guys in Pittsburgh's game. Maybe they're going to pair him with a guy like Chris Letang. You never know. Justin Schultz when he comes back. So, I think the situation for both these guys is good. Daniel Sprong, a change of scenery. Hopefully, that can get him producing at an NHL level. Because, like I said, one year ago, he was seen as one of the best prospects in hockey. And this year, his value has definitely been diminished. And I think if Pittsburgh were to trade this guy a year ago, they would have got a lot more back than they did right now. So, that is just kind of my overall thoughts on the trade. It's kind of really hard to dissect it because I haven't really saw too much from either of these guys at an NHL level. I don't watch the Penguins too, too much, and I don't really watch the Ducks, but looking at their stats, you know, Sprong has been not really impressive this year, but Marcus Pedersen has been solid. I've seen Ducks fans on Twitter telling Pittsburgh fans that you're getting a solid defenseman, you're going to like him, and then obviously Anaheim knows what they're getting, a young prospect with high upside. Hopefully, he can really realize that at an NHL level. He is only 21 years old. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens, how this trade really pans out. We're not going to really know who won this trade probably for another year or two. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're a Pittsburgh or Anaheim fan, do make sure to let me know down in the comment section who you think won this trade, how you feel about what your team got back. And even if you're just a fan of the NHL in general, make sure to let me know your thoughts on this trade. So with that being said, that is going to wrap up the video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. And I will see you guys all in the next video.